Hey guys, welcome to 7 Minutes Math. The problem that we want to tackle today deals with an analog clock. And the question is the following. We have two hands, right? There's the minute hand and is the hour hand. And we want to know at what exact time will it be when the hour hand and the minute hand are overlapped. So what happens is that the minute hand will start its race towards the hour hand and you would be tempted to say that it would be 15 minutes past 3. But that's a trap because what actually happens is that the minute hand, as it travels in this part, you will also have the hour hand traveling in between 3 and 4. So by the time the minute hand reaches 3, the hour hand will actually have traveled a quarter in its way in between 3 and 4. So then if you say, okay, then it's another quarter, and the hour hand will have traveled again a little bit. So we want to be a little bit more exact into finding out what will be the exact time when the hour hand and the minute hand are overlapped. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with the equation of space. This is a general one and we're going to write it right here. It looks like this. It's d of t equals d0 plus v multiplied by t. And d it's a division or you can also count it as distance. d0 it's the initial distance or uh, the offset from where each hand here will start. v is the speed of every hand pointer and t is well that's the time. When we're looking now at the d the unit is divisions. What do I mean by divisions? It's well you have here very small divisions in between 1 and 2 and they're actually minutes. You have also divisions here in between 1 and 2 and you have divisions everywhere also here between 2 and 3. So we will try to find out what would be the time when the two hours will actually meet. So let's try now to see what will mean the equations for h of t, that's the hour hand, and what are the equations for m of t, that is the minute hand, right? And now we need to find out what is the offset of the h hand. And let's write it here. We have h0, that's the offset of the hour hand, and we have m0, that's the offset of the minute hand. The one with the minute is pretty simple because we will take 12, let's mark it here as our reference point, our um, origin if, if you want, and m0 because it starts exactly on the 12, that is on the reference point, it will have the value 0. And here we must also specify that the unit is, well, it's divisions. For h of 0, we have a little bit of offset because the hour hand doesn't actually leave, doesn't start the race from the same place where the minute, uh, and that's also creating our problem, um, starts the race and it has a little bit of offset. And the h of 0 is, if you count the number of divisions, well, it's quite obviously it's 15. And the unit here is obviously also divisions, meaning small divisions on, um, on the clock. Now we need to look at vh and vm. This is the speed of the hour hand and this is the speed of the minute hand. And the speed of the hour hand, let's try to see how we can easily find out what it is. It makes five divisions into one hour. So the speed of the hour hand, it's five. And the unit here is division per hour. And now for the speed of the minute hand, it will travel all the way from one end to another of the clock. It will make a round trip and that means all in all 60 divisions. And the unit here, of course, it's again division per hour. So now it's easy, we just need to replace everything that we, we defined here into our two equations h of t and m of t. So h of t will be 15 plus 5 times t and m of t will be 0 because it has the 0 offset 
plus 60 times t. What does now mean an overlap? It means that when the hour hand and the minute hand will be overlapped, the two will have the same value. That means that m of t will equal h of t. And that means 5t plus 15, that's a quite simple equation, will equal 60t. When we solve this equation, we have 55 t equals 15, that is t equals 15 divided by 55, and this, again, this is pretty important, the unit here is hour. We're going now further, t is equal to 3 divided by 11, also the unit here, let's keep it because it's going to be useful for the calculation, and this is 3 over 11 times 60, and now we are going into minutes. And this is 180 divided by 11 in minutes. And this is fairly easy. This is 16.36 approximately in minutes. And this will go further as 16 and it's minute plus 0 0.36. And this is also minutes and this goes now into 16 minutes and 0 0.36 times 60 and now we go into seconds and the other one here is minute and there's also a plus here and the final result then would be 16 minute and 22 and that's second and that's a minute here. So there you go, that would be the final answer. When the hour hand and when the minute hand would be overlapped, the time would be 15, 16 minutes and 22 seconds. And we can also uh, try to nicely write that down. It will be um, 15, um, 16 minutes and it will be 22 seconds. And let's write it in a uh, standard format. H -H mm and seconds okay that's it for for today seven minutes math thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you'd like to see any uh, other interesting things until next time have a good day